So we've just had a nice late lunch in uh, Benbridge. It's time to fly back to Stapleford and it's uh, beautiful weather. It's raining. Uh, 1.5k looking forward. All on its own. 1,500. 1, Have you seen there? It's also got, you know, like in the Airbus and the Boeing, it tells you where you're going to hit your altitude by. <laughs> I, 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 I'm interested to see if this auto pilot gets us right back to the airfield. That's incredible. Okay, all clear on the right. Yeah. Golf set out, never me Yankees, back in holding point one way three. Um, and then after departure, who are we going to go to? Uh, London Info. That's alright, give me a second, let me just. Golf set out, never me Yankees, passing one way three. Oh, look, they're ready for us. God's sake. <laughs> right, happy? Yeah, so after departure, Wheeler, it's going to be um, right, on up. instruments. So let me just make sure I'm all strapped in properly. Feet to the floor, stick slightly to the left. <laughs> Sunny. Piece and piece green, 50 knots, looking for 59. She wants to go into the sky. Sounds like you're on a jet, doesn't it? Which is fast. Just that stall noise. There's, there's no wind, is there? That's why. It's not as bad when you get up, is it? It no. looks worse when you're on the ground. No, it looks much worse. It's alright. Report pass. Uh, I'm on instruments anyway. Uh, we go direct to waypoint Bexhill, I think. Yeah. Once we clear of Benbridge, yeah. Hopefully we can see the wind farm, so that'd be cool. Go on, give it some, get it up there. Don't worry about us. Have you seen there? It's also got, you know, like in the Airbus and the Boeing, it tells you <laughs> where you're going to hit your altitude by. <laughs> very hot, very flash. Oh, it is raining, isn't it? Uh, it's in the air, isn't it? London information, Golf, Zulu, Alpha, November, Yankee. Alpha November Yankee, London Information, hello, pleasure message. Golf Zulu Alpha November Yankees, just departed Benbridge, passing 1800 for 5000 feet, QNH 1018. Uh, routing from Benbridge to Stapleford, remaining outside the controlled airspace, the rest of the main service. Golf Zulu Alpha November Yankee, Roger, Squawk 1177, Mo Charlie has basic service. 1177, Mo Charlie has basic service, Golf Zulu Alpha Yankee. Well, November Yankee, what's your aircraft type? It's a DA-40 with three on board. Okay. Landing right off. 2000. Should start the turn, surely. Yeah. He goes for the route, then turns. Turn go on. November Yankee, what's your intended route round the Stableford? Uh, we'll be routing towards Seaford and then tracking uh, back towards London, remaining out of gas golf, November Yankee. November Yankee, thank you. Good turn soon, shouldn't it? I think it's just going for the route. Trial and error this. There we go. What do you reckon? So it says that we're going. Yeah, because it, it did this though. Oh, hold on. There we go. Feels like it's going to turn, but it's not, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Maybe if you put direct seaford now into the. Like, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's turning. Yeah, it's done. All on its own. It's turning now, yeah, isn't it? A very gentle turn, but turn. Lovely visibility. I was thinking that. Apart from when we go over that way, look. Yeah. That's just the weather breaking up, isn't it? What look we over going? there, look. What are we going up to, five? Yeah, just uh, for now, anyway. Just until we get to, like, south of shore. Yeah, it has turned, doesn't it, but very, very slowly. Yeah, but it's not the route. Yeah, it's yeah. just slightly right, but I think it will correct, won't it? I think it's because, I don't know, maybe the RMP's not that great. Uh, well, you're only slightly out. It's That's about, pretty uh, impressive, no, though, actually, isn't it? Two, what? 1,500 foot out, it's alright. Because no, look, what it's going to do... It's correcting it. It's going to put you onto there and then turn, right? Direct you know? seaford, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, welcome back to the flying vlog, guys. Um, got Tom here for the return journey back to Stapleford. Uh, the and weather Ash. was quite interesting while we were sitting on the ground. Oh, and Ash in the back, sorry. I didn't forget you, I promise. We're on the way back. Uh, we should have some interesting weather. There is nothing on the storm scope at the moment. But uh, we keep a good eye on it. Um, but it just should be some, some light chop of weather. But the rear head looks clear. At least 75 miles. But yeah, so we're tracking towards waypoint Seaford. Then about we're going to climb to 5,000 feet, get above all the weather. And uh, some of the airspace below, like the shore approach path. 
Yeah, it was a great lunch, wasn't it? Yeah, nice flight, really couple of wireless nice. approaches. No one flying. There's no one around, is there, this time of the day. But yeah, just on the way back, I thought I'd try out the uh, auto cruise function. So I've got auto cruise just down here, which is on, and then GPS steering, which basically will follow a route from A to B. So we could go all the way from London to Spain, and it will follow the route the whole way. All we got to control is the altitude and uh, the fuel. Done it now, though. Yeah, it's perfect, isn't it? It does get more accurate, I think, the further you go on. On the ground, you can do, like, an accuracy check. That will be the front, by the way. Probably just picking up the upper upper level air. But yeah, so the autopilot should fly the aircraft back the whole way. That's the, that's the plan. And we're just going to keep an eye on it. Nice eco cruise on the way back. No wind. Oh, there you go. 10 knots. Not as good as this morning. What are you doing? Trying to get the times up. Oh, is it the twist? You twist it. Because it's like lost all its button. You know, the old one used to have all the buttons. Yeah, yeah, yeah there was so a way of more, getting it up. So much more intuitive, but I guess, yeah. And it will show you the lightning strikes on here as well, I'm guessing. Yeah, it would yeah, yeah. Spin. Down here, ah, I see. Front's over there, if anything. We're not going that way anyway, turn well before. Yeah, might be a little bit bumpy when we turn up. See the weather, but I think when you get closer, it just, it'll be a lot different. That's just rain there, isn't it? Yeah. It's strange, actually. Uh, I can't, I need to work it out to do it. Your wind farms will come out on your right hand side, you can see them. Just amongst the clouds. I put it into cell mode on this one. Yeah. You can see Seaford now anyway. There, on yep. the nose. It's out there. One, two, three. The wind's less, isn't it, once the front's yeah. gone through. Not really IMC, is it? No, it's not IMC at all. That's what that all is. Oh yeah, that's fine. That's that's 1200 now. That's just sitting over, I bet it's Shoreham. Yeah, it always sits over Shoreham. I, I, I think it, I think, I, I'm guessing the Ida White pushes the weather up. I, I don't know what it is. I really don't know what it is for sure, I mean, it's always like that, fewer than 1200. It's pretty interesting, put it that way. Ash? The Brighton's out there, but you can't really see much about out there on the left, after the clouds. Oh, hold on. So yeah, today's flight, back from uh, Pembridge, is just about learning some of the systems high up at altitude. We're just coming up to Thief from now on. Yep. On the edge of the corner, isn't it? Yeah, so we just nice and little gradual descent after that. But the information drops near the That'll be uh, 2000 by lumber. Oh, well, well done, there you go. That'll well, be it, that'll be it. Where you at? No, so you can change. Where, how do you get into that menu there? So if you check, uh, no, data field, and then change data field distance. So it, yeah, to. Ah, there you go. There you go. Hey, we done it! In Luke. <laughs> in Luke. Uh, well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, from the flight deck. Um, <laughs> um, right, estimated right, time right. of arrival is uh, 45 minutes. That should be in Zulu. I oh, know, it's local. Yeah, but it is local. We told him 1719, which is local, not Zulu. No, it's Zulu. That is yeah, Zulu, but yeah. that's coming local, but you can change it. So you, when you go to the date and time, you can put it in Zulu. Yeah. I don't know why they've not we done that. We just know that that's Zulu. Uh, so, map on that one. And flight plan on that one. And then flight plan on that one. Is I'm it? happy with that. Oh, hang on. <laughs> oh, right, right. So it's on the top one. So you can have DTK on the top one, and then put yeah. the time on the bottom one. Yeah. So, flight plan on that one. There you go, and then map on, and then map on that one. Because I've got the map here. True. Let's and see how accurate, it, how accurate is it. What? The turning? See, well, we've got to get 19, we said. Seaford, what's it saying now? Seaford, 18, yeah. Give or take a minute, I'll take. Yeah, but it doesn't know the winds, does it? No. That's the marina there. That's where we went for, yeah. Oh, what, Brighton? Yeah. Yeah, GPS data is. There oh, you go. Yeah. 20 so, foot. 20 foot. Vertical was 20, height is 10. So we're connected to... It tells you how many satellites we're connected to. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 satellites. And that's where they are in the constellations, yeah. So we've got to be down by Lomba. Do you want to do a CDA? So do you want to do the maths? So what? We've got 5 minutes to descend 3,000 feet, Wheeler. At a speed of 120 knots. How many minutes? Right, so... We've got we've 5 got miles. Yeah. So 5 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. 12.3 miles at uh, 100 and... 
132 knots. We just done to like so 800 foot a minute. Yeah. I'll go with that and see what happens. Because I'll be well, well before the London TMA. I think. If I have to really About put it down, I will. Yeah. 800 foot. Oh, there's the cliff. Yeah, that's a good sign. I thought we was going to be an IMC, to be honest, but we might still be in it on the way back over there. Look. It's pretty much our route. we got to go back to two anyway. There's no point going three, then two. Might as well just go down to two. So when the aircraft starts turning, we're going to make a descent and then call London and say we're descending. Why is Lumpur not in there? Beautiful, went out from the sky. I love flying. It's so great. It's fun. Good fun. So what do you think? Oh, there's Deanland. That's where I flew from last. All right. What do you think of the airplane? Nice, no? So with the new upgrades. Very nice. The fan's set. Oh, what I should do while we're up at cruise is just make sure south ends there just in case if it goes really bad. It's always good, isn't it? So we'll have Stapleford there and then south end there. Yeah? Uh, so yep. all, all my charts are there ready. Where are crews out, dude? Eight, seven, six, five. You reckon it will turn? Or really slowly turn? Turn it. Alright. On its own. Oh. Oh wow, look at that. Got it up and I'm going to be anchored in that time. I think we're getting to one today, one. Got it from the anchor in that That's more than 8 actually, but in there. Oh, uh, 500. 1, 2, 3. Yeah, that's 1200, yeah. <laughs> like, it's because it's trying to capture the height. Might be the wind wheel. Oscillating, isn't it? Yeah, uh, up and down, up and down, up and down. Must be the wind. The weather does look a bit rough. That's going to be iron. No. 6,000 metres in rain. No, it's just hazy. Yeah, it's like mist. But as we get a bit more into land, it should clear off a bit. No, I can't believe that the autopilot, like, just follows the route rather, rather accurately. You know, if you put the wind information in, it's it will place. turn earlier. Yeah. You can set it up, so if you really wanted to. So there's a card you can get that goes in there, 1500 quid for an SD card. Streams information from uh, Forflight straight there, updates all the wind information into the GPS. If you wanted to sit there and do it, you can. Which then you'll get accurate turning it. But no one really does sharp turns no, like no. that. It's sorting its life out now, it's just going to re-pick up the track and turn right. Yeah, I imagine. you hope. <laughs> it be wet the whole way back, isn't it? Yeah. Get the plane to wash. So landing light. I'll keep that on. It's a good idea. Yeah. I'm disappointed in the wind, I thought it was going to be stronger than that. I know. There's a lot of low cloud there, isn't there? So we're 10 kilometers or more light rain, no clouds at uh, City still. Between 160 and 230 degrees, Cav OK, temperature. Just like, not right that down. What? <laughs> <laughs> Cav OK? Where's Cav OK? Look, we're not in any cloud. Oh my god. There's clouds there. That's Gatwick weather. And what's the city haters? Do you remember it by heart? No. <laughs> we did time that perfectly. I did think yeah. the weather was bad either side of us. We we departed leaving the weather. But that is Cav OK, isn't it? I, I, I'm, I'm interested if this autopilot gets us right back to the airfield. That's incredible. Three heat alone, some left now, heading 240 degrees. Establish on the localizer of runway 27 left. Climbing! Say he throw, say he throw, uh, controller. I'm going to go to Shamrock 93 down to defending flight over A320 with Nina. Shamrock 93 down to Nina. I tell you what, it's good to hear it picking up again though, isn't it? Yeah. It really is. Right. Well, a couple more turns to go. 11 gallons of windy use around too. Yeah, it's quite good that. They've put that in. I like that. I mean, the, the, you got to admit, right, you imagine how comfortable it is now to do a flight into Spain. I mean, it is a bit lazy to still monitor things like we are. We're monitoring the ATIS yeah. for all the airfields yeah, right. on route. It just makes it... Oh, it's beautiful. beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, yeah. Planning. Don't get me wrong. Uh, it's nice to do some manual flying, which I did earlier, let's be fair, for most of that flight. But it, it's... If you're doing a long... Imagine we're going to Amsterdam. Well, I mean, we could have got back from Amsterdam today, easily. Oh, easy. Easy, For my know. OCD, can you put that to 17? Because it's really annoying me. What? 
Pod 72. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> no! Oh, there we go. Get out of it. That's better. Uh, London information. We'd like to uh, free call South Med Radar now. One three zero nine four seven seven five for a goal to the Alpha and the Number Yankee. Yes, the Number Yankee. You're on your escort call security and just check South Med Radar. One three zero nine four seven eight zero. My apologies. One three zero nine four seven eight zero. Change agent going on. It's been a while. Good day. Bye bye. That's your name, Yankee Squad. Four five seven five. It is a basic service. Two eight South End one zero one eight. Report when oh. you wish to leave the frequency for six months. One zero one eight four five seven five. Basic service. So when I flew back from France, the weather was actually like this, but worse. The rain. You couldn't see the uh, river. It was lying on the whole way back. Why is it to Yates? It's like, look, if, if we know we're going towards the CB, do a U-turn to let South End because you can see South End. So but how, it was how far are we from Baker? We're from nine miles. So visibility, yeah. Take a lot, ten miles easy. That's the uh, Dartford Bridge, and the bridge where we come home to my parents. But, oh yeah, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a Duco and then just go straight left base. Yeah. So we get to a Duco. Nice straight, straight flight plan in. Uh, 1.5k looking forward, isn't it? <laughs> that's, that's nice. They got lights in this thing, Wilford. <laughs> no, not on at the moment, but we'll be alright. Open radio, Golf City Alpha, November Yankee. Inbound for Quest Airfield information. Golf November Yankee, active runway 21 left, left hand circuit, QNH 1018. 1018, 21 left, left hand circuit, we'll join for a left base runway 21 left. And if possible, can we have fuel on arrival if they're still there? November Yankee, that's a negative. Uh, Roger, no worries, Golf November Yankee. Brentwood. Okay, brakes are off. And a carriage fixed them now. Uh, if you could take that, sir. Thank you very much. Banning lights on. P's and P's green, hatches and harnesses. Transfer is complete. Auto pilot plus all here. Top it off, I remember Yankee is joining the left base on my 211. Remember Yankee, Roger. Alright, so we're looking for 70 knots on the approach today. And a full stage of flat. Bit of mist forming over London, look. Ah, that's it. Caution. Terrain. Terrain. That there, the over there. Put your full stage? Oh yeah. Once you're stabilised, then full stage. You, you imagine putting flaps down and they go asymmetrical. Oh. Imagine. Do you want to try and recover I've that? I've had it. I've had it. Not in the air, but on the ground. In the, uh, in the PA28. Got it up and over the Yankee final P1 line. Remember Yankee Roger, surface wind 190, less than 5. No excuse for me. There you go, there's the uh, glide path and the, uh, oh, yeah. the localizer. The, the basically does a 3 degree glide path down to the thing. Look at the motorway, nice and wet. Oh, this is going to be not too busy. Yeah, rather it'd be better for me, I reckon. Harder in the wet. Bloody hell. <laughs> what was that? What was that? That was smooth! <laughs> that was... That How was smooth nice. is that? That was really nice. Very nice. Very nice, Robbie. It was not bumpy at all. Got it up, never mind. Keep that track to you on that one.